Now this is interesting. This was the original opening of the movie and indeed uh, the, it's a bookend. Uh, the movie was uh, bookended by two scenes where the younger Zorro, he's 10 in the story, uh, but he's grown up here and he's actually narrating, I guess, the story of his life up until the point that he takes over being Zorro. And uh, uh, what happened was that we screened the movie and suddenly realized, of course, or should I say the studio realized, that uh, it would mean that Antonio and Catherine are basically can't come back in the next episode because he's no longer Zorro, his son's taken over. So there was a... Uh, uh, there was a lot of um, hustle and panic, and so suddenly we had to shoot a new ending to the piece uh, without these bookends and without the sun actually taking over. So therefore, um, it means that Antonio and Catherine can come back here to live and fight another day. Brother Ignacio, well, what are you doing? Well, now this scene, we built the set at, um, this was originally a location, in fact, at the Hacienda where we were in Mexico, we completely built the same um, courtyard as a set at the uh, studios in um, Culver City, Sony Studios, and redid the scene. It's really about the family coming back together. It's about Joaquin seeing his parents come back together and uh, um, they're renewing their vows. In fact, that's what, this, um, that's what this scene is all about. And actually, I think the ending we now have, when we previewed the movie, the audience seemed to love it. So uh, I'm very happy with the ending. And I think finally what we do at the end of it is we pan off to the horse, which is all very funny. Um, and then we go into the bookends that I mentioned previously, or should I say the end bookend of the movie. It was very elegant, the bookends, but really I think we get into the story quicker um, and it thrusts you into the movie and I think that's better. The end here that we have is um, the Joaquin who's grown up, he's taken over the role of Zorro and here he is, he turns round and uh, off he rides and he rides into the sunset and uh, a rather young-looking, aging parents, <laughs> after all there's a movie, um, are looking fondly as the next generation of Zorro takes flight and uh, the camera tracks in and there they are looking affectionately at their son who is rearing up on Tornado who must be all of 84 years old now having gone through God knows how many Zorro films. <laughs> and uh, there we have it. <laughs>